Hey everybody, it's Ornlu, and following up from the Elephant Archer Regional Unit in-depth video last time, with the Dynasties of India expansion coming up uh, this Thursday as I'm recording it, I th I'm going to be doing these sorts of in-depth guides on all of the new units that we can find in this expansion because, well, they are pretty darn interesting and there's a lot to cover. And so last time we started with the Elephant Archers Regional Unit of the uh, Gurjadas, uh, Bengalis, and Dravidians, and now we're going to be covering the Armored Elephant and the Siege Elephant, the replacements to the Ram line. And these guys are super interesting. There is a ton to talk about, so let's just get right into it. All right, so I will get into the various sieve differences in just a little bit. But just to start things off, it is worth noting that these are available at the Siege Workshop in the Castle Age and are in place of the Ram line for the following four civilizations. The Hindustanis, yes, they don't have elephant archers, but they do have siege elephants, but they are also available for the Bengalis, the, the Ravidians, and the Gurjaras. Now here are the stats of the armored elephant, and I'll put some of the other more hidden stats up on the screen. Made a little MS Paint little picture for you guys, uh, because there are a lot of stats at play here. So as you can see, they cost 130 food, 95 gold, so pretty expensive, because if you have to remember, all of the civs that have this unit, they have very food intensive armies. So having another sort of siege unit that also costs food, it, it is very expensive, especially that 95 gold. Uh, we'll get into some comparisons with rams later, but it is more expensive on that gold front. Train time, 36 seconds, pretty reasonable for a siege unit. HP 200, again, it's pretty good. Base attack is 4, not that bad for it being a ram unit, and I'll get to why that's the case in just a little bit. But bonus damage versus buildings, 75. Bonus versus siege, 25. So they are getting bonus damage versus other siege units, as well as, of course, buildings. Reload time, 3 seconds, which is the same as like a, a skirmisher or a spearman, which may seem slow, but you have to remember that it is actually twice as fast as the ram line. Speed is 0.6 tiles per second, which is the same as the Persian War Elephant, as well as the siege ram. So it's actually a little bit faster and can be made even faster. Uh, with the husbandry tech. And blast radius, none. So the castle age, just like the battering ram, the armored elephant does not deal any sort of blast damage. As you can see on the unit card, as well as my little picture, their base armor is neg negative two melee armor and 140 pierce armor. So pretty similar to the ram. But they also get some hidden armor bonuses, notably plus seven cav armor, which in case you're wondering, what the heck is that? It means that anything that deals bonus damage against cavalry is resisted plus seven by the elephant. So say like a camel. Camels deal uh, nine extra damage against elephants. Seven of that nine bonus damage is resisted by the armored elephant. And then similarly, they get extra bonus armor from being elephants. Halberdiers especially are known for dealing a bajillion bonus damage to elephants, and 17 of that is being negated by this unit. Yes, they still take a bunch of extra damage, but it's not as much. And the plus zero values for siege and rams means that these are siege units, and they need to be treated as such when it comes to uh, things like Mangudai, Magyar Hussars that all get bonus damage versus siege weapons, other armored elephants, they do take those kinds of bonus damages. Uh, also, the Ram armor class is relevant for things like hand cannoneers and other gunpowder units that get like one or two extra bonus damage, so they will also be dealing a couple of damage to armored elephants as well, despite having 140 pierce armor. Now, switching over to the stats of the Siege Elephant, the Imperial Age version of this unit. Notably, the upgrade cost is 650 food, so more than the capped ram, which is 300 food, but less than the siege ram, which is 1,000 food. So if you combine capped plus siege ram, it's 1,300 food, which is exactly uh, double of the upgrade for the siege elephant. So already, that's a point in favor of the siege elephant, just in terms of getting these guys up to your Imperial Age upgrades, although things get a bit more complicated, as I'll get to. Uh, their cost and train time is exactly the same. They have 50 more HP, so they go from 200 to 250 HP. Their base attack does remain the same, so it's still at 4, so that's something to keep in mind. Their bonus damage versus buildings increases by uh, 30, and their bonus versus siege increases by 10. 
and then reload time and speed are the same. And now they are dealing blast radius, uh, or they ha they're dealing blast damage with a radius of 1.5 tiles. So yes, the Siege Elephant, an important sort of uh, buff of the unit, in addition to just getting more damage versus buildings and siege, is that you're getting that sort of uh, blast radius. And that is the same blast radius as a capped ram. So less than a siege ram, which is a blast radius of two, but they do get at least that 1.5 tile blast radius. So a bunch of grouped up houses or wall segments, uh, they will all be taking damage to this unit. Now, when it comes to the difference in base uh, armor, they get 10 more pierce armor. Oh boy, that matters against just trebuchets. Their cav armor, uh, ram armor, and elephant armor all go up. So they're going to be taking less damage, notably, from things like hand cannoneers, which is pretty darn nice. And then you're getting just like a tiny bit of extra armor against cav and ele anti-elephant attacks. So those are sort of the base stats of the Armored and Siege Elephant. Now, let's take a quick look into the sorts of upgrades that they benefit from. All right, so as I alluded to earlier, these guys are both uh, siege weapons and cavalry units. So they do benefit from uh, associated technologies with cavalry. So they benefit from both bloodlines and husbandry. So we'll just uh, Aegis this up. And you can see 220 HP, and they are going to be moving around a little bit faster, which makes them faster than, you know, non-drill siege rams. Uh, unless they're, I think, fully garrisoned or something like that. But point being, these are fast units for being chonkers. They also benefit from all of the cavalry upgrades at the blacksmith. So you're forging all the way through Blast Furnace, and then your uh, barding armor upgrades. You can see 4 plus 4, and then plus 3 plus 4 here. And this is really important, I think especially getting these attack upgrades, because as we'll see, the one of the biggest differences between the armored elephants and the rams is that these guys are not terrible versus regular units. They're not great, but they're also not terrible. And just, you know, getting all of your attack upgrades literally doubles the attack of this unit. And, you know, even the... Uh, the Siege Elephant version, only four base attacks, so that's very important. Also, your armor upgrades are going to be critical because you go from having negative melee armor to positive melee armor, so that is all going to be quite helpful as well. They are also benefiting from Faith and uh, Heresy, not available to Hindustanis. We'll get into that. Um, but they also do not benefit from Conscription, because Conscription it does not affect the Siege Workshop, so they can't be made to train any faster. Now, all of this is all good, it makes plenty of sense, but it is worth mentioning that the one upgrade that you might think they benefit from, but they do not benefit from, is Siege Engineers. These guys do not benefit from Siege Engineers, so, you know, you can go ahead and get Siege Engineers for your other Siege units, but the Elephants, they are more cavalry than Siege for the purposes of uh, that technology, I guess. Now, just to do a super quick comparison between the Ram and the Elephant, you can see that... In general, the Armored Elephants have a little bit more HP than Rams, 25 more HP, two more base attack, and obviously they can't garrison anything. They have one more melee armor, 40 less pierce armor, that doesn't really matter too much. And notably, they attack twice as fast, but also deal much less bonus damage to buildings, and they cost food instead of wood. So, as we will see, Rams are better as purely anti-building specialists where the elephants are going to be coming in is versus, you know, not building things. And more or less the same thing is going to be true of the Siege Elephant. Uh, each has four base attack, but the Siege Elephants can be improved. Siege Rams have a bit more HP than the Armored, uh, or the Siege Elephants. And uh, again, we're looking at <laughs> not quite as much uh, negative melee armor and less Pierce armor. And also you can't garrison the units. So those are just sort of the super brief comparisons. Again, a lot of it's going to come down to uh, attack bonus versus buildings and fire rate, and I'll be showing those off in just a bit, but I thought it would be handy just to have that brief little stats comparison. All right, so here we have each of the four civilizations uh, fully upgraded siege elephants. We have Hindustanis in red, which is me, and just to keep things uh, consistent from last time, Bengalis are once again going to be in blue, Dravidians are going to be in green, and Gurjaras are going to be in yellow. Taking a look at the different bonuses that are applied to each of these different armored elephants, things are actually going to be pretty convenient here for, uh, for Hindustanis. 
because they have completely generic but fully upgraded armored uh, and siege elephants. So they have all of their relevant upgrades except for uh, heresy, but they have everything else. And they have no bonuses. Whereas all of the other elephants have some sort of upside or downside or something like that. So these guys are going to work out quite well as our sort of control group. Now, the Bengalis, as we can see, uh, just by looking at the stats, they have the exact same stats, in fact, as the uh, Hindustanis. But if we look at their tech tree, we get their elephant units receive 25% less bonus damage and are more resistant to conversion. So right there, elephant, uh, the siege elephants take less bonus damage from anti-cavalry and anti-elephant attacks, and the Bengali elephants are even better in that regard. And they're, of course, more resistant to conversion. In addition, they also benefit from the Pikes technology, which makes their siege elephants attack 20% faster. So in a lot of ways, the Bengali elephants, which are otherwise fully upgraded, are going to be pretty much the best siege elephants in the game, because they're fully upgraded, and they attack faster, and they're better against the things that normally counter elephants. Alright, so next up is going to be the Dravidians, and these ones are really interesting. On paper, they are going to be looking a bit worse because as we uh, look into the Dravidian tech tree, well, we know that their cavalry is not very good. They don't have bloodlines, they don't have husbandry, and they also are missing that plus four defense. So you might be thinking, man, their siege elephants are not too great. And in some ways, that is true. However, well, one, um, they do regenerate with uh, the medical core technology, but they also benefit from Woot Steel. Yeah, it might not be super intuitive because they're a siege workshop unit, but yes, the Dravidian armored elephants do ignore armor when attacking. Now, this is super relevant when attacking enemy units because, as you know, the siege elephant has a very low base attack. So the fact that, you know, something like even just a champion has, what, four melee armor with full upgrades, that would negate half of the Siege Elephant's attack. This makes the Siege Elephant, even if it's slower, less HP, and less armored, it does the most damage in a straight-up fight uh, as, just because of all of that armor ignoring. It's likely even going to be better than the Bengalis, although we will do that test in just a little bit. Don't you worry, we'll have all of the Elephants fight each other. Now, last is going to be the Gurjars. So they have all of the relevant upgrades with the exception of Blast Furnace, which is going to be pretty relevant for, again, a unit that has such low base attack. But if we look at their tech tree, they are trained faster because they are an elephant unit. They do not benefit from Frontier Guards. They do benefit from Kshatriyas, which is really helpful because, of course, the uh, elephant uh, armored elephants cost 130 food, so 25% less of that is really handy. And... What about this mounted unit steal plus 50% bonus damage? Well, let's put that one to the test. Alright guys, this is what you're here for. The Siege Elephant Battle of the Century. In the blue trunks we have the Bengalis. In the red trunks we have the Hindustanis. In the green the Dravidians. And in the yellow the Gurjaras. I added flags here just so we can keep track of everybody because there are a lot of fights that are about to happen. 8 on 8, and then 9, of course, for uh, Gurjadas, because they get Kshatriyas. And this is going to be faster, I think, than you guys might realize, because of all the bonus damage that's about to come in. Anyway, this is going to be something, all right. Whose elephants reign supreme? Oh my god, the Gurjadas mopped up here. The Gurjadas mopped up here. And the Gurjaras won here. So yes, the Gurjaras, to answer that question from before, yes, their uh, extra bonus damage from mounted units, it does apply to siege elephants. So they beat all of the other civilizations. You can see that Dravidians, dis um, despite having the uh, boot steel, that just doesn't really matter as much with a high HP unit like the elephant. So Dravidians lost to everybody. And then we had the Bengalis versus the Hindustanis. Bengalis being uh, just kind of better than Hindustanis, who are completely generic. Yeah, you can see that the lacking HP mattered a lot, because the Bengalis should just 100% beat the Hindustanis. But yeah, guys, the Gurjadas, their siege elephants, 
They do not mess around when fighting other siege elephants, or just uh, siege units in general, or maybe even buildings, perhaps, as we will soon see. Alrighty, guys, now here's the actually relevant test. So, before you are five fully upgraded Spanish castles, now we have two siege elephants of each of the relevant civilizations, and also these two siege rams with siege engineers. Now, which of these elephants are going to be the best versus the castle? Well, we shall see. Yeah, everyone's attacking. That's good. Oh, yeah. Well, oh well for the other tests. Now, when it comes to raw damage, we have to imagine that the siege rams are going to be doing among the very best. And they are. But look at the Gujaras, man. This is kind of like uh, the big surprise factor, I guess, uh, for the siege elephants, is that look at them go. Looks like the Gurjaras are about to just barely edge out siege rams. Yeah, just barely. With Siege Engineers, mind you, the Gurjaras are kind of blowing me away when it comes to fighting the things that Siege Elephants get bonus against because they are getting that extra damage. Now, for the other sieves, we have the Bengalis getting the kill next because of the Pikes, and it should be the Hindustanis and the Dravidians getting kills at almost exactly the same time, because Woot Steel does not apply to buildings. And that is exactly the case. That goes to show the sort of the pecking order of these siege units as tools against um, buildings. You know, that was a fully upgraded castle, and you can see that just the two siege elephants, or siege rams, really didn't have any sort of an issue against those. It's just a matter of how quickly they were able to accomplish the task. And we can see that the siege rams uh, and the Gurjara siege elephants were kind of in their own tier, and then the Bengalis were like one step behind that, and then the Hindustanis and Dravidians were one step behind that. Alright guys, so here we are at the final portion of our testing today, and that is going to be of course the siege elephants versus regular old units. Now, before I even get into any of these, I just want to point out one matchup where the armored elephants and siege elephants are going to be almost hilariously better than the rams is against villagers. Yeah, I mean, once you get like any amount of blacksmith upgrades, the siege elephants and armored elephants are just going to annihilate villagers. You can't just punch them down super easily, again, especially once you get any sort of armor upgrade and even attack upgrade. So that's just one area where the elephants are going to be performing super well. Um, now, when it comes to fighting other units, well, we shall see, at least relative to one another. So we have a bunch of uh, 20 Spanish champions here, 8 elephants, and then 9 with Gurjadas. Remember that this is where Woot's Steel should have the chance to shine. Pikes can be pretty helpful here. Gurjadas, they are probably going to be looking the weakest. And then Hindustani is going to be our sort of control group. So, let us see. Now... When fighting pretty much any sort of uh, unit, especially melee, get, get to attacking. Yeah, the, the armored elephants aren't great, to say the least. <laughs> to say the least. Now, um, I don't think any champions died. Maybe a couple champions died. The, uh, the Woot Steel Elephants definitely did the most damage to the champions, as there are probably only around maybe half of them left. And then, uh, yeah, the Gurjaras, again, I don't think they lost any. So obviously, when you're fighting champions, it's not going to be pretty. And I'm not even going to bother showing you against Paladins because it's even worse. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see how they're going to be performing against a unit that has a little bit less base attack and a little bit less armor than a champion or a Paladin. And that is, of course, going to be these uh, generic fully upgraded Hussars. Also, keep in mind that I'm doing these tests with fully upgraded siege elephants, just so that we can really see the differences between the civilizations. Just keep in mind that the armored elephants, the Castle Age variant, are going to be performing much worse because they don't deal any blast damage. But that in mind, let's see how they're going to handle these Hussars. Go, go, go! It's a much slower fight, that's for sure. Those Hussars seem to be derping around just a little bit. And 
and you can see that it really doesn't matter. Oh, wait, those guys can go around? Maybe not. I don't know. Regardless, it seems like the Dravidians, they did the best, but they still lost. They just don't deal damage enough damage against melee units to be effective in the slightest. You can see that even these Hussars were able to clap them. And again, I'm not even going to bother showing you Halbs because it's even more one-sided. Yes, they get extra armor against Halbs, so it's not like a complete joke. But the Armored Elephants are simply not a viable option against melee. That's the bottom line here. Well, now how about against ranged units? So we're going to start nice and easy. We have these fully upgraded elite skirmishers, and there are 25 of them per little area over here. And let's see if the armored elephants, siege elephants, with their super high pierce armor are going to be performing a bit better. I think you guys know the answer. Oh, look at them go. Eh, some of these guys are attacking across the little rivers. Freaking get on a... Go. Why are you running away? Go. Yeah, you, you can see that it's not remotely close. Dravidians are cleaning up the fastest, as you would imagine, with that Woot Steel, ignoring even that three melee armor. It makes a big de deal when the unit has only eight base attack. Pikes is helpful. Uh, the Gurjadras are not going to be doing as good due to missing that uh, two attack from Blast Furnace. And then that leaves Hindustanis kind of uh, in the middle. Mine, of course, derped out the most because reasons. But yeah, that should give you the idea. Oh, they can't even make it all the way around. Alrighty, for the last test of the day, we are going to be against these fully upgraded Saracen Arbalests. And... They're going to be definitely presenting a bit of a stiffer challenge than from against the uh, the skirmishers. But as we can see here, they're only dealing one damage per hit. Whereas these armored elephants, siege elephants, are dealing more than one damage. Again, there's a little bit of crossover. It doesn't really matter. My elephants, seemingly moronic. And look at these Dravidian elephants go. You can see that in general... Dravidian elephants are going to be performing really well versus units. And then, of course, the Bengalis are going to be kind of coming in second. The generic Hindustanis are third. And then last are going to be the Gurjars with their less attack. There we go. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for our armored and siege elephant demonstration. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this unit in the comments. I think it's a really interesting one. It's kind of like a hybrid between like a heavy assault unit, anti-archery unit, and of course the anti-building unit. In general, we can sort of summarize that Hindustanis are the generic one and they perform like third best in most anything. Bengalis are kind of the one that are just a little bit above average, and they're going to kind of be performing second best in everything. And then you have the Dravidians, who are going to be kind of generic versus buildings, and perhaps even, uh, you know, they're a little bit less HP and a little bit slower. Uh, but with the Woot Steel technology, they are going to be clobbering enemy units that, once they get into close range, of course mostly ranged units, because, well, melee units kind of kill these siege elephants. And then lastly, the Gurjaras. You can't sleep on these guys when they're taking down buildings. They are literally slightly better than siege rams with siege engineers. I mean, they're not going to be as good as, like, Celt siege rams, but they're going to be pretty darn good. So definitely keep an eye out for those, especially when you're fighting other siege elephants or siege units in general. Really interested unit. I'm curious to see how it's going to play out, how players are going to use these guys, because you can just put a few of them in front of your uh, uh, archers, and they're going to be absorbing arrow fire just like rams, but they are faster and they are better in combat, although they aren't quite nearly as good uh, against buildings. So yeah, definitely leave a like if you guys enjoyed, uh, subscribe to the channel for tons of more content, and next up we are going to be going over the individual civilization unique units. So the format's going to be a bit different, but definitely stay tuned next time for that one, guys.